It's locked. Howdy, Clue Crew. Ready for another episode of Nancy Drew? Get your clue notepad ready. This mystery is getting real spooky. Nancy Drew is almost here. Hang tight a few more moments, and we're going to jump right into the mystery. Enjoy. Welcome to New York, Nancy. For the past month, my co-star, Rick Arlen, has been getting these awful death threats. folks welcome to Travi J's space here on YouTube and welcome back clue crew <laughs> to another fabulous episode of Nancy Drew stay tuned for danger we are uh, getting into the thick of it here here in New York City the Big Apple um, I'm, I can't quite remember where we left off. I know we're starting to get to, into a lot of codes and... Oh, yes. And in the last episode, we got into... Um, we got into... Uh, I want to say the medium room, but that's that's not it. The uh, main room? No. There's a name for it, but it's the room in the set. Uh, or in the studio near the set, the control room, something like that. Basically, we had to figure out uh, a few codes in Lillian's office in order to open that door, since it had a specific code. It was kind of a fun code to figure out, actually. Um, and we got in there, and then we found out that we had to uh, kind of decipher the tape cassette that was found in Rick's Oh, sorry, folks. <laughs> that was odd. I just felt a little bit fuzzy there for a minute. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened before. I was very odd. Um, yes, so so we had to decipher, and I think we're actually still deciphering. This is the cassette here. Um, the cassette that was in the tape in Rick's room that was set to explode. And it's a little bit difficult. I'm not sure how we're gonna, maybe there's more options to altering the sound. I'm not quite sure, um, but we'll figure it out. We'll get there. Um, what else? There, there really isn't, I think the only other thing I can think of that really needs a little more um, investigation is Lillian's office. There was a lot of stuff going on in there, a lot of sneaky stuff, you know. She's got a lot to hide, so I don't know. I, I think she's also got a motive and a vendetta. Pardon me, because she did really love Rick. So there's a bit of tension there between her and Maddie, and then her and Rick, and yeah. So I, I don't know how to feel about that. It's very interesting. But of course, for me right now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm very sus of Lillian for sure. Uh, but also Dwayne. Dwayne gets a little upset every time we talk about Rick. So I mean, that's kind of kind of suspicious to me, anyways. Um, but yeah, you know what? Let's jump right into it. Let's not waste any more time because um, I've been so eager to play this. Of course, I got ahead of myself when I started recording this series, um, I really didn't waste any time. I kind of recorded, I think it was like two episodes one day and then a third episode the next day, um, just because I was just so eager to get into this and feel the vibes and play and oh, I just love Nancy Dream so much. So um, yeah, so I, I thought I would take a bit of a break in between recording and focus on some other games and come back to this. So now that the first episode's premiered, I'm like right there, ready to go. So, <laughs> so let's get into this. All right, important. Do you have your tea? Do you have it? Or an alternative beverage of sorts? Yeah. 
Excellent. Very good. Um, do you have a blanket? I don't have one today. I'm not very cold. Um, most times I'm usually a bit cold, but not this time. I am not cold today. But I do have my tea. I guess I didn't really point that out. I'm still kind of waiting for it to cool down. It's almost there. I think maybe halfway through the episode I could start sipping on it. Um, and are you cozy? Of course, the most important question on each and every episode. Are you cozy? Are you comfortable? Snug as a bug in a rug? <laughs> maybe you're on the couch. Maybe you're laying in bed. Either way, as long as you're cozy, we can begin. So, without further ado. Says. I keep thinking there's someone or something around hearing little noises. Okay, so let's jump into this here. Um, I think the first thing we could do, or the first thing that might be important is, uh, well first just to give a call to our friends around the way here uh, and see what they have to say about things. And then question everyone at the studio. That's probably our, our next best bet. This is Bess. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hello. Any new developments on the case? Oh, there's quite a lot. I can't get the employee log to print. Oh, did we get that far? I can't get the employee log to print. You'd probably need to find an employee ID number. They're often listed on employee passes. Oh, so when we log in to, I'm gonna have to be quick about that then because there's employee numbers on the logbook at the security station. Oh boy, so that's gonna be quick. So I'm pretty sure the moment you sign in, okay. So I'm gonna employee. I mean, that might be it. I don't, I'm not 100% certain. We'll give it a try. We'll probably need to find employee ID number. They're often listed. Uh, to print off the employee logs. But, um, I don't remember us getting that far in Lillian's office. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to refresh my memory there. Uh, and Millie. Didn't at some point we said we had Millie's log in? Lillian. Lillian must have been the one who sent Rick those threats. Yeah. I found a bottle of castor oil and the number for a chocolate shop in her drawer. So she put the castor oil in Rick's chocolates to make them taste bad? Boy, that's a dirty trick. But that doesn't mean she sent the other threats. Or does it? I mean, it is pretty sus. I gotta say. That's a pretty big thing, too, to do. I mean, I'm not sure if castor oil... I'm thinking of the castor oil you put in your hair, you know, to bring the moisture back into it, and then you kind of rinse it out after a few days. But castor oil for a car? I bet you that probably... And that's, I think, what we found. I don't know if they're... They're probably much different, but... If they are, I figure the car version probably is a little lethal. <laughs> Not so good. <laughs> probably do a lot of damage. Yes, yeah, so let's see what she has to say, Bess, about the sound mixer. I found the sound mixer, but I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Try to see if you can hear the person's real voice on that bomb tape. Or else, see if you can hear anything else on that tape that would give away the maker's identity. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Give me a call if you need some help, okay? Hmm. Okay. Well, forget everyone else, actually, for now. What is this? Is there an employee number? Oh, okay. No. I thought maybe there might be a slim chance, but... No. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. 1999 Broadway. 
Can I help you? Hello there. Okay, let's do this quick. Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Oh. Thank you. You may proceed. Oh, I can't look at it anymore. Oh, I forgot about that. We don't even look at the sheet. Shoot. Huh. Okay, well, what if we... What if we... I don't think we can even... It's open! I don't even think we could get Maddie's. Have you found anything out yet? <laughs> no. No, not yet. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Ugh, so we can't go in there. Entrez-vous. Entrez-vous. Hello, Miss Drew. Ugh. I see you can't get enough of me. Do I drive you wild? Listen, I gotta go, Rick. Be careful, oh. okay? Stay beautiful. Whatever, Rick. Sorry. That's the second time now. And I got that really weird castaway feeling. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Very odd. Oh, that's a little, it's been a while since I've clicked those photos. That kind of freaked me out. Okay, uh... Let's go talk to Lillian, who will probably not be so happy with It's us. you again. What do you want? Oh, Bye. I'm sorry for bothering you. I'll leave right away. You do that. You do that. <laughs> All right. It's open! <laughs> Hello, young lady. Nothing. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Don't take any wood. Nickels, young lady. lady. <laughs> okay, so we have the floppy disk. We got the car. Huh. Huh. This is very interesting. I think we need to come back at night. I think a lot of our investigation work is going to be complete. I need something to make this work. And you got it. <gasps> oh. I was going to say, have we not seen this before? <laughs> oh my itchy nose. <gasps> oh wait, what's this? Oh, these are the pieces. That before. Does that mean there's maybe something else I haven't seen before? Huh. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Huh. Retracing our steps is crucial. Okay. Nothing to do in there. Uh, we did the clock stuff. Time is right. Actually, is it? Oh, not really. <laughs> not really. I'm surprised she said hasn't said. I have to set the clock. I should set the clock. Oh, what's over here? <gasps> A trap door. We can't do anything about. I feel like we've probably seen that before, but didn't give it much attention. Huh. Okay. Alright, nothing new going on there. Teleprompter hasn't changed. Nothing new over her, right? Nuh uh. Made. Yeah, this is all the same. Okay, well then, uh, yeah. Got no other choice but to come here at night. Look at this. for this show. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can... Can I help you? No, thank you. Just looking. <laughs> I never going to say that before. Let's see if Dwayne's Taxi! Around. Yeah, what's the address? 318 <laughs> West 10th yeah, Street, please. You got it. <laughs> yeah, 
up with your dress. <laughs> She's cute. Oh! I don't miss that. Oh, uh, whatever, Dwayne. Hey, taxi! <laughs> Where to, lady? 7246 Lexington <laughs> Avenue, please. On my way! It's almost tea time. <laughs> Countdown's on. Uh, yeah, night time. Oh, music, of course, is spooker, spookier. I'm surprised Maddie just leaves the fire going. I mean, I'm, I know she probably assumes we're home, but... Taxi! Still. Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. 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 Oh, yeah, what's the... In a while, hasn't it? Three, six, eight, ten. Oh yeah, here we go. <gasps> go into everybody's room. Huh. What is your employee ID? Yeah, she definitely wrote that out. I mean, this poem is literally in her office. All edited, direct. What a bad, bad girl, Lillian Weiss. <laughs> Very bad, bad girl. And then here's all these letters. I kind of want to figure that pattern. The publicity stunts. There's no escaping around. Nothing to do with his employee ID. <sighs> same old, same old. Okay, well, at least we know. Yeah. Man of the air, Rick's alive. <laughs> garbage. You find a lot of both something by going into the garbage. Nancy rule number something something. Oh, of course she's not in there. I love that mirror though. That's a cute mirror. I feel like I used to have one here at one point. Uh, no play. Feels like it's the women of this workplace that is sending the death threats. <laughs> I mean, do you really blame them? This guy's breaking hearts. Left, right, and center. And I know they certainly wouldn't attempt anything for real. At least I couldn't see Maddie doing that. <gasps> uh, I thought that was down below. Oh, heart shaped soap. Uh, of course. Well, nothing to see here, folks. I am a 
Ali. Well, looks like I'm surprised they don't see me on the web on the camera. Here we are again. Okay. So. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Lily. WWB one nine five eight. Welcome, Lily Strathmore. Uh okay. <laughs> Kurt Clinton, please wait. Oh. Secure the document printing status finish. Oh, maybe I forgot to click that last time. What's in her trash? It's in the rats. The cats and the rats. Okay. Oh, this is where we're going to need some ID, I think. Huh. Alright, let's check that printer out. World Libraries and Confidential Secret Security Law in November. Huh. Ooh. Mr. Ireland complains about receiving anonymous threats, refuses to register complaints with postal authorities. That's on the 26th, I think. Yeah, and on the 27th. Early reports receiving an honest threat to the district complaint. Okay, on the 29th. Mr. Arlen receives threat. Refuse to the league. Same thing here. His home address and personal activities of prior night. Oh my gosh, he's so silly. He should be reporting all this. Okay, here's November. More threats. Registers complaint. Finally, he waits all that time to register a complaint. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like that's like seven. That's like a week. Wow. So there's more threats. Just complaint. Mr. Arlen receives threatening phone calls on personal cell phone. Another complaint. Okay, good. Now he's not so sus. Teleprompter sabotage display death threat against Mr. Arlen. Oh. Threatening note. And watch Venom and Strange Dress Room. Holy cow, chocolate standard with harmless, oh, harmless but foul tasting element. Venom and Strange Dress Okay, so castor oil, I guess, either or isn't that harmful. Um, poorly clamped key leg light falls on stage, which I'm mean, just complaint. Yes, but we saw that and it wasn't really poorly clamped. The clamp itself looked like someone busted it. Or loosen it up real good. Dismantled bomb set up in the Island dressing room. Temporary employee defuses us. <laughs> Government agencies notified for investigation. Oh wow, okay. Can we take this? No. So what if... What if she sees it? <laughs> oh boy, this is... to look at here apparently. We're here. Well I must say Oh there's some more Oh we can't look at those floppy disks. We can't look at them floppy disks. Oh Oh, okay. We've seen that. Uh, well... Is there a... <laughs> I'm gonna say, maybe the Her Interactive has an ID. Her card. We've definitely seen all this. Oh, yes, yes. 
Oh, yes, we have, honey. And we've been up there. Really doesn't help that we don't have a checklist, like a to do list on the side. And there's really nothing going on here. Nope, 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 And this is very peculiar that we can look over here. The shears and the rubber plant. Why would she need shears for a rubber plant? Is it rubber, I wonder? I have a pencil, too. Hmm. I need something to make this work. Let's give this another go. Oh, oopsie. This here, employee ID number. Where are we gonna find employee ID number? I wonder. Maybe we need to go back and call some more people. That uh, that may just be it. Unless there's something new going on here. I don't think so, though. I wonder if we're ever going to get in there. May just not even be a thing, you know? Okay. I think we've pretty much figured everything out. Oh, wait a minute. Shoot. <laughs> we were going to try, um, we were going to try going in that office again. Um, 3689. Uh, I should write on this page too. 3689. Um, yeah, I was going to say. Go into the media room, or I guess it's called the media room. I think it's the control room. Like you would think. I need something to make this work. Actually, let's go back up here too. I'm curious. The wheel is stuck. It's still stuck. Locked. Yes, yes it is. Oh shoot. Shoot, I, I don't remember the code. Oh, actor. Actor. Okay, I gotta put an arrow to that. 
I did not know. Okay, there we go. Actor. Okay. So. Watch the tape we got from here. I don't think we watched it yet. Probably a good idea that we do. Wait a minute. What's it say? Light reveals what is hidden in the darkness. But you must first unlock the power of the light. Sounds like a riddle. Like a Millie Strathman riddle. And it reveals what is hidden in the darkness. Huh. Curiosity. I would like to watch the security tapes. Oh, is that what this tape was? Yeah, I bet you. Actually, that's peculiar. We can't even click anything here. Hmm. Okay. to make this work. Hello, Rick. Don't try to hurt the room. The door is right. And you should be left off the line. Somewhere in this room is an explosive device in the elevator on an swinging range. Maybe? Alright. Before we get into this, I'm going to use the bathroom. BRP. <laughs> I haven't said that in a while.
slacks, so. Alright, so, yeah, let's give this another go here. Before I do, pardon me, I think it's time to kind of sip on some tea here. Gonna expose the culprit. So this makes me feel like. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! We're not meant to figure it it's out. It's locked. Alright, let's give some people a call then. How late is it? Uh, they'll still be up. Ring, ring. Hello. This is George Fain. Oh. After the tone, please leave your name, phone number, and a brief message. Thanks. Yeah, okay, we'll call in the morning. Actually, first, I want to see that tape. I knew I was hearing something. It's the Alexa. Making noises. <laughs> Freaking me out. Okay, here we go. I need something to make this work. And you have something to make this work. Yeah, someone with a beard. Fake beard. Kinda looks like Lillian's jacket. But then again, it kind of looks like Dwayne's jacket, though, too. I don't understand. This looks like it's... With the mask off. What the hell is that? Oh my goodness. I am just hearing bang after bang, and they are getting louder and louder. So now I got two mysteries <laughs> on my hands here. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. It seems like that's Dwayne. I mean, it looks almost identical to him. Should I call him? Let's see. 
I think I should be calling George though first. Fane residence. Hi there George. Hey Nancy, is. what's new on the case? I'm not, I'm not sure, sure what I should do next. I'm not sure, but I know you'll find out. Well, that's helpful. Talk to you later. Good luck and be careful. Thanks, George. Thanks. Oh. Now let's see if our boyfriend will help us. <laughs> kind of nervous. Hello? Hi, it's me. Hi. How's it going? Well, I'm getting nope. along so far. Okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be careful. I love you. Be careful. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Bess. Please have something for us. This is Bess. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hello. Any new developments on the case? No, bye. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> bye. Give me a call if you need some oh, help, okay? Gosh. Okay, what is Dwayne's number? I know I have it. Yeah, here it is. Oh. So sorry, I cannot take your call. I'm gonna lose it. Powers Agency, how may I help you? Hi, Mr. Powers. It's Nancy Drew. Yes, Miss Drew. What can I do for you? Oh. Well, I should get back to the set. Apparently Thanks nothing. for your help. Feel free to contact me if you need additional assistance. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is there something on that chair, maybe? Anything new and exciting that I am not seeing? Something on the table. No. Something on the desk. This is really, really creepy. The eyeball. Oh, where'd it go? I should be able to click. Whoa, you can't click it anymore. Oh, it's gone. It's like an Easter egg, I guess. Oh, no way. Yeah, I and then no I. I, no I. Creepy as heck. What is that all about? Is there anything with an employee ID, maybe, that we missed, skipped out on? It's locked. Oh yeah, and then there's this. It's locked. It's locked. Shoot. I want to get in there. All right, this is all love letters. This, oh. Have we looked at both sides? Oh. We've seen it all. Well then, I'm just basically real confused. Because if we go back to the set... Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. My brain's a ticking here. I wonder what will happen if we try to get up in that room during the day. <laughs> it might not work out for us at all. This might be a try again situation. Second chance.
Oh, never mind. Well, well, well. Light reveals what is hidden in the darkness, but you must first unlock the power of the light. What the heck and heck are you talking about? I need an employee ID card. Or an employee something. See, and then I wonder if we've already came across it. Have we already seen this employee? I need to find a key for this. Oh. Oh. What's this for? What did I just turn on? A light? Did I turn on a light? Did I turn on the light that will unlock? Maybe. TDC power. What's TDC? Everything looks the same. I wonder if TDC is this thing over here. Oh, because it's the same key. Oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, yes. Okay, trap door. Oh, yay. Okay, okay. Right. than we had thought in the other episode. Uh -huh. yeah, open that door! Okay, here we go, Gaul. Y'all. Gaul. <laughs> oh, I'm just too excited. Y'all see Gauls now. Okay. The trap door is open. Wow. What's going to be down here? Oh! <gasps> what? Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> oh, scary. Okay. Look up for hydraulic. We can go deeper. Oh, we're going up. Oh. It's locked. Oh, we're in the prop. Oh, no way. But it's during the day. Isn't Millie there? <laughs> She's going to be like, what are you doing? Oh, there's the shirt. Owen W. Spader. Power's talent. There's an ID number. 318-67-2001. Ha! All right. So, we now know the ID number. This is the shirt. Oh, and there's the rep right there. Oh my goodness. Lost and found. Huh. Brilliant. No wonder we couldn't find a way in. Okay, let's get out of here before Millie's like, what the heck is that noise? <laughs> Interesting. This whole time. Right under our noses. Right under the set. I, should I leave that on? Or open? Maybe I should turn it off. Yeah, maybe. Okay, it's off. Very good. Okay, well now we know an employee ID number. So... I think that means we need to come back at Hey, night. taxi! Where to, lady? Hey. 7226 Lexington Where to, Avenue, lady? Please. On my way! On my way! Oh, I guess...
powers this number was right on the thing. Good for the soul. The more you drink, the more you. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, Something. please. <laughs> what means with soul? Bowl. The more you bowl, the more you troll. <laughs> 3689. The more you lol. <laughs> Bippity bappity boop. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get into this security system here. Okay. WB1958. Oh. Oh, WWB. Gotcha. I wish I was actually on this computer, this white computer. I miss white computers. And the big keys and the mouth, the, the mouse with the ball in it. Oh, okay. Three one eight six seven two thousand one. Re-enter the ad a three one eight. It looks like Owen was on the set every time something happened to Rick. Yeah, because we have the the notes to compare. Oh, they're gone. Wait a minute, what is this? Huh. Um, okay. So now that we know that... Now what? <laughs> Okay, I think... Seen all that. Um... Hmm. I wonder if... Now that we know this... Taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! I think we need to tell Rick. I hope that's an option. <laughs> Get to his room just for him to be like, oh, uh, goodbye. Oops. You never know, maybe Maddie's home for one day. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Where can I please? take you today, miss? Yeah, where are you going? Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. Thank you very much. Entre vous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Miss Drew. Well... I see you can't get enough of me. Do I drive you wild? No, but your case certainly does. Tell me, Rick, do you know a guy by the name of Owen Spader? Yeah, yeah, I know Owen. He was with the, uh, Beekman Theater, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of short and stocky. Oh, don't tell me you're seeing him. Don't break my heart, love. Huh? Listen, I gotta go, Rick. Be careful, okay? Au revoir, mademoiselle. Short and stocky. Short it's open! And stocky. But the guy in the, the person in the video was not. Have you found anything out yet? Tell me, do you know someone by the name of Owen Spader? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Wait, no. No, I'm pretty good at names, but I've never heard of him. Mm. Well, right. I'll see you later, Maddie. Be careful, okay, Nancy? Well, let's see if Lillian will answer our questions about Mr. Spader. It's you again. What do you want? Okay, we got a lot of questions here for her. Two. What about the clamp? 
to know that I found a light clamp on the set. It looked as if it had been sawed off. Yes, yes. I thought you might be interested to know that I found a light clamp on the set. It looked as if it had been sawed off. That was no accident on the set. It was a deliberate attempt on Rick's life. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got ourselves a little Miss Sherlock Holmes on the set. Look, we didn't hire you to play junior detective, so don't be sticking your <sighs> nose where it doesn't belong, okay? Well, it's good to know. Hello. Well, can you tell me something about Owen Spader? No, I can't tell you something about Owen Spader. Why should I? It's none of your business. Oh, you are not helping. Lillian, I have reason to believe you're the one threatening Rick. I know for a fact you sent him those chocolates. Is uh, that uh -huh. so? Hmm. Well, I have every reason to kick you off this set. Where do you get off telling me what you think? I'll be calling your agent to let him know we no longer require your services. Get out of my office! <laughs> well... We certainly pushed that button, didn't we? <laughs> oh, it's dear. open! Hello, young lady. Oh. Do you know where I can find Owen Spader? He's a stagehand, I believe. Good luck finding him. I've yet to meet him face to face, even though he signs out props all of the time. Hmm. I wonder if he's the one that signed out the beer. I should get back to the set. Goodbye. Have a good day. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> oh, I love her. I love Millie. Um. Huh. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. We've asked everyone. Let's see if we can visit Dwayne. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th yeah, Street, please. What's the address? You got it. What's the address? Yeah, what's the address? <gasps> He's never there. Ever there. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. Ah! On my way! Sorry, I had to stretch. Uh, Alright, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna call, we're gonna call Dwayne. I wish I would just add the number here. Oh, shoot. Another page. We've already got two pages worth of clues and hints here. Where to, lady? <laughs> Powers Agency, how may I help you? Hi, Hi, Mr. Powers. It's Nancy Drew. Yes, Miss Drew. What can I do for you? Miss <laughs> Drew, what can I do for you? Do you have many employees working uh, for you at Worldwide? Yeah. Do you have many employees working for you at Worldwide? Only two. You and Maddie. Uh, oh, oh, yes, and, and a temporary stagehand. It's been difficult uh, finding adequate talent okay. these days. Okay. I almost forgot about that fella. Mr. Spader. Uh, hmm. Yeah, where can we Do find you know him? where I can find this stagehand? I haven't seen him around. I'm not sure when he's scheduled to work next. Is that right? Oh, yes, hopefully. Uh... I'm afraid I've upset Lillian. Did she call about terminating my employment with the studio? Yes, she did. She was very upset. She said you accused her of having something to do with Rick's threats. Well, to tell you the truth, I think you're onto something there. Oh. I had my suspicions about Lillian for quite some time. That is why I've asked Mr. Pappas to keep you on with Worldwide. Huh. Well, that's quite interesting. What are your suspicions? What are your suspicions? I really believe the stress of the show and her past relationship with Rick may have pushed her over the edge. Just be careful and don't believe everything she says. Huh. I mean, yeah, she's pretty sus. She's up my list, but interesting that he would trust us with his. Unless he's trying to push it up. Oh, no. 
Unless he's just trying to push the suspicions off of him, redirecting it back on her. But I don't know, they're both equally sus. She a little more so, though. Well, I should get back to the set. Thanks for your help. Goodbye and good luck. Thank you. All right, let's call. Oh, we are out of time. But we're kind of on a roll, so let's keep rolling. <laughs> Get it? This is Bess. Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hello. <laughs> Any new developments on the case? My, oh, my. Quite a lot, apparently. Lillian just kicked me off the set. Oh, no. Well, as long as you have your employee pass, you're still free to get around, right? Ah, uh, this is true. This is true. This is very true. I found an employee Sneaky badge for an sneaky. Owen Spader in the Lost and Found. See if you can track this guy down. Try looking him up in the personnel files. Personnel files. On Lillian's computer, I guess? Huh. Interesting uh, suggestion. I really need to get into Dwayne's office. I need to find more information on this Owen that, Spader guy. Do you work? think I should sneak into Dwayne's office? Oh, be careful, Nancy. It just seems so risky. Maybe you can get someone else in the building to let you in. Just don't blame me if you get caught. Oh. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Give me a call if you need some help, okay? Okay, let's try and get in the building then. Taxi! Yeah, <laughs> what's the address? 318 we West go. 10th Street, please. You got it. Right, who's gonna let us in? Okay, I'm turning down my headset for this one. Just because that's pretty loud. We have to do this again at night. Not today, thank you. I'm not buying, go away. I'm not buying, go away. Hello? She said hello. Patty Cake. Hello? I don't think we clicked this side, did we? Any day. Not today, thank you. Any day. <laughs> Patty cake. Wendy Mills. Any trouble? We don't want any. We don't want any trouble. A lean over. Yes. Dusty nail. Okay, so we're definitely coming back at It's locked. Nighttime. It's locked. Okay, hey, taxi! Where do okay. lady? 7226 so Lexington nighttime. Avenue, please. On my way! Maybe someone gonna let us in. I hope this works. I really do. I cannot wait to snoop around that man's office. There is so many Taxi! Many yeah, what's the address? 318 yeah, West 10th Street, please. You got it. I can't get over the voice. Oh, we've never been here at night. Same voices. I wonder if, we're, if this is gonna work. Shoot. Not today, thank you. Dang. It's I about see. time you showed up. I've been waiting 45 minutes for that pizza. <laughs> oh, Nancy, the pizza delivery girl. Oh, what's over here? Here we go. 
getting in. Okay, now I can turn it back up. <gasps> Look at this messy ass office. Oh my. Okay, before we start jumping around, we go out here the magazines. Hmm. Mail. What's in store now for WWE Studios? Keeping tabs on Rick. His plant is not in great shape. Oh, is that the only paper? Okay. It's the only paper we're reading. What about this side? Oh, all of his actors and actresses. I don't see Rick on that wall. His wallet. We've seen that picture before, but it looks like he cut out phone backs. What's this number? Four, three, seven, seven, six, six, three, six. Maybe. Huh. Her interactive. I want a her interactive card in my wallet. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Alright, now let's jump into the good stuff here. Messy, messy man. Nothing to see here? Huh. Could have had me fooled. Oh, what's over here? Depot, Miss Teresa encloses a current resume and a file photo for Teresa Poppenhosen. She has 10 solid years of experience in the business and comes to an agency of excellent references. Thank you for your attention. Ms. Materials for food. Huh, okay. <gasps> Another number! 800 561. 0908. All right. And what is this? From Joan Jensen. Okay. Please read the attached record article and explain to me why my daughter, <gasps> Maddie Jensen's mom, right? I mean, I was not invited to this panel. Maddie Jensen is a household name and an excellent role model for girls. You, on the other hand, are a horrible example of a talent agent. Oh. Also, why is it that Rick Garland has better press coverage than Maddie does? We both feel that Maddie is the real star of the show. Call me and let me know what we should do about this. Wow, panel on TV's biggest stars met with girls from around the country to discuss. Oh, wow. Yeah, it seems like he's not working very hard for, for Maddie's career. Contents. I need to find the key for this. Oh wait, what's in here? <laughs> Her interactive. They really advertise a lot in the beginning, didn't they? <gasps> says English, French, love phrases. Interesting. Wait, he bookmarked this page. Any words I say that I can see forever in your eyes? Here's a symbol of my love for you. You are the light of my life. Very peculiar. Oh, he's playing chess. Oh, what's this? The Angry Man. Interesting. The Angry Man. Is he the Angry Man? <laughs> oh my goodness. What's this? Evans. 
What? E oh, even though... Even though... Revenge... Should be sweet... Jealous... Acts will... End... Jealous acts... Will end in defeat. Even though it should be sweet in defeat. Interesting that he had that in his cookie. Very interesting. I can call from here? Oh, that's not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. <gasps> oh, shoot. Of course. Oh. For this matter, there's turnover to your attorneys for processing. I fully realize that you may contest the merits of this claim. Certainly, it is not my intention to threaten you about this matter. I would hope, however, that you will take a moment to seriously consider the consequences of your actions. We may have spoken on the phone several times, and you have been agreeable about making payment arrangements, but you have not yet to make a good on your word. Wow. Please contact our office immediately to remedy this situation. So he's going broke. Can't afford to keep this... Oh, it's unlocked. To keep this place up. What's this? Adhesive strip gum. Interesting. And a ticket. Green powers. Very interesting. What a peculiar fellow. Art gentle persuasion. Oh, not this again. <gasps> this is the tape recorder. Nine one three over three X Y Z. What? Oh, let's call Millie at home. <laughs> let's get all these numbers. Sunnyside, I don't know who that is. Libby Creek, Lillian Weiss. Five 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 eight eight one seven. Millie. Help Millie S. Five 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 seven three four six. I should call William, maybe William Pappas. Yes, it's a good idea. And we could tell him about the the clam. Maybe. Five five five. One two nine. Okay. All of this. <gasps> One, two, three, four. The channels. Okay, how would we debunk this? Like, break it down. LMV.
I feel like what we're looking at is the answer to... I mean, it, this looks like the device that was used to become blown up in Rick's room, but these numbers, like this one, two, three, four, look like the channels. I don't know if that's going to give me any answers. Uh, 913, or is that 413? It's a 4, okay. Let's write that down. 413. Some possible numbers here. I just don't understand the word kerfuffle here. Door. This could be door. But LMV does not spell anything. VLM, MVL. And then look at Drew and Drew, LMV, LMV. I don't understand. I crossed this one out, so I don't want to. That one I don't. I think it's 413 over 3. Okay, that might be our answer. I don't know. But that's a pretty big piece of evidence right there. Makes him very sus, doesn't it? Ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> Chinese food. He's just eating Chinese food all the time. seen everything we need to see. Uh oh, we have been over here. Interesting. 5,317. Two blocks west on Scorpio, left at Okay, let's write that number down too then. Five, 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 nine, three, one, one. We got a lot of numbers to call. Okay, all right. Let's, I think we're good to to get out of here. Very, very, very sus. And then, of course, I need to find the key for this. It's not the same key as this. I need to find the key for this. Hmm. Unless I need to find oh. the key for this. <laughs> you know, I had to try it. <laughs> uh, perhaps, though. No, it's, there's nothing else in there. Okay, well, yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Dang. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington of Avenue, stuff please. On my way! <laughs> That's a lot going on there. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's wait till morning. Ah, okay. Now. Actually, this might be from something else. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as done. So that's nothing. Uh, 4377663. Ah, okay, so that's not a number either. Five six one. 
0908. We're sorry, okay. your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. This is a recording. Uh, let's try... Let's try Millie. Just, you know, for shits and gigs here. <laughs> See if we can call Millie's home. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Alright. Please check the number and dial again. Give a shot. This is a recording. Um, we also have the 555. <laughs> the one who was writing all over about seemed pretty important. We're sorry, no. your call cannot okay. be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. Alright, uh, well let's call everyone on the list. Just see if we get any hints, any insight, and then I think what we're going to do is go back to nighttime, sneak back into the studio. This is Bess. Hi Bess, it's Nancy. Hello, any new developments on the case? Uh. I can't get into Dwayne's briefcase. It's one of those combination locks, right? My dad has one of those, and he keeps the combination hidden in his office. Oh, maybe the 4377-6636. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Give me a call if you need some help, okay? I'm gonna rewrite that down now. Four. All right. We're gonna we're gonna figure that out. Catch up on our phone calls and be on our way. Actually, yeah, I think change of plan. We'll go nighttime, sneak back in. Fane residence. Hi, George. Hey, Nancy. What's new on the case? Check that out. Not much, but oh. I'm not sure what I should do next. I'm not sure, but I know you'll find out. Talk Thanks, to you later. George. Good luck and be careful. Like always. <laughs> It's me! Hi! How's it going? Oh, goodbye. Well, I'm in the long so far. <laughs> okay, I'll let you get back to your sleuthing. Be, Be careful. careful. I love uh, you. I love you. Okie doke. So, nothing. Alright. So, let's go nighttime then. And Get our booty back to Taxi! Dwayne's. Yeah, what's the address? 318 yeah, West 10th address? Street, please. You got it. You got it. Sorry, I need to write down one thing on my list. Okay. Alright. So who was it that let us in last time? It was... Pest grumbling. Oh, no questions asked? Oh, wow, this guy is quite the friendly friend. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's see here. 4377. Oh, my God. Oh, I got one side. Okay. 6636. Six, six, three, six. Shoot. Or no, it could be eight or nine or zero. Okay. Right, because it was cut off. It was cut off. Okay. Okay. Oh, so there's the keys. Good, 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 good. Maddie Jensen. Oh, $5,000 to Dwayne Powers. Wow. Alone. Alone. Oh, she gave him a loan. She's giving her agent a loan? Wow. 
Very, very interesting. Notice of eviction. This is a notice of eviction <gasps> on the property located at 318 West Street 101. You are hereby allowed 10 days. Oh, wow. And the payment required was 5000 so did, did Maddie literally bail him out from being out of this? Oh, another one, Junebug. Please be advised that your account is over 120 days past due. We have tried on numerous occasions to contact your office. We refuse to return our calls. To date, you have not made any attempts to pay the overdue balance or to establish a payment plan. Wow, we're seeking legal action. Oh, this is not good. This is a man who is stressed out. Payment is past due. Oh my gosh. Oh, $3,657 on his credit card. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. There's a lot of motive here, y'all. A lot of motive. Rick Abertuski. Huh. So now he's got a new stage name. Theater. Oh, that's a good time. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright. Oh, delivery man box. Commercials. Okay. Okay. We've seen that. What's this? Name. Rick Abertuski. Arlen. Address. Da da da. Home telephone. Cancelled. Where's the contact doctor? What's my mother going to do? 350k a year. Oh my gosh. Very, very peculiar. Huh. Who else? Spader. Here's the Spader fella. Owen Spader, 206 Samboozle Drive. Let's call his number. <laughs> Owen Spader. Emergency Spader Ant. Now that seems a little bit interesting to me. Freelance, various studios, camera, camera, film director. Jeez, he's done a lot behind the scenes. I'd like to be able to call these references. Do we have a picture? No picture. Interesting. <gasps> Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, fill this out ASAP. Oh, <laughs> well, we could do it now. No. <laughs> Anyone else, Tim Burke? <gasps> Maddie Jensen. All right, Maddie Jensen, next to me. Hmm. Oh, let's, let's call the mother. Joan Jensen. I'd like to hear what she has to say. Miss Joan Jensen, I'm gonna be giving you a call. Wow, she was in a lot of plays. Oh, Elizabethan drama, dialects, aerobatics, gymnastics, stage fighting, firearms, skin diving, kickboxing, ninja throwing stars, good with children, animals. She's got a pretty good resume, I gotta say. Okay. Okay. I need to find the key for this. Well, we have the key, but I have a feeling we should put the key back. Alright. 
6630. Okay, they're back in there. Okay, great. Oh, there's two sets now. <laughs> Alright, good. Okay, let's slam this skedaddle. Oh my god. Hey, taxi! Where to, you lady? So 7226 okay. Lexington and Avenue, this episode please. On my way! A while ago, but hey, listen. It's locked. We've come too far too quickly. Hello? I don't have much time to explain. Can you meet me at the studio later tonight? I know you won't have any trouble getting in. Oh, okay. That was Lillian's voice, was it not? And what is this ticking noise? <gasps> For Nancy Drew. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> What in the what? This is your final warning, Nancy Drew. You better mind your own business and go back to your little life in River Heights. I mean it. Leave town now or next time you won't be so lucky. Oh, I was scared that was going to explode. Oh my gosh. And why does Lillian want me to be... Oh, this is nuts. This is nuts. <sighs> okay. Okay, we will just... Make our way... Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Alright, let's let's go to her office then, Lillian. Uh, this is sus. This might be a setup, y'all. And if this is a setup, that probably means we're already at the end of the game. Or the mystery. Oh gosh. Oh, am I ever a nervous little big potato right now. Ooh. Oh, meet me on the set. What time is it? It's late. It's like 9 a.m. I need something to make this work. I see our oh. Snoop has shown up. Lillian, I think you should leave your act to professionals. I can see right through you. Why did you ask me to come here? Yeah. Why did you ask me to come here? You see, I've been doing my own investigation, and I kept on finding more and more things until, until I got a threatening letter yesterday. Uh, can I see it? Yeah. Do you still just, have I it? I got one too. We got one too. Bring a blackmail, my pet. Not if I get to you first. Do you really think you'll find out who I am? And here I thought you hated Rick as much as I do, but you're still in love with him. You're still sold on his stupid smile and good looks. A puppet disguised as an actor. That's what he is, a phony, a ladder climber. But he'll fall so far down, no one will ever be able to find him again. I'll push you down too, Lillian. Whatever is in store for Rick will be coming your way as well. So stop playing detective and pretend this never happened. You'd be much happier and more alive if you did. Now do you believe me? Who could be doing this? You must know. <sighs> Without a doubt, the prop master's behind it all. Papa's had every reason to do this to Rick. Oh my gosh, I have to pick one. Okay, well, I don't think it's Lillian. Because I don't think she ever used the the typewriter for her threats because noticed how there was a lower Y I'm gonna have to go with Dwayne we just finished snooping his office there's he's under a lot of stress he's got a lot of debts going on he's literally asked one of his clients to loan him five grand just to stay afloat which still doesn't cover all the costs that he owes to, to, to really keep himself afloat and stress-free so I'm really gonna point the finger at Dwayne here I really think that's the only liable the only suspect here that really kind of makes sense. How he's using Millie's typewriter, though, that's beyond me. It has to be Dwayne. Dwayne Powers? But why on earth would he? Dwayne is a very dangerous individual, ready to risk lives to accomplish his deadly campaign as Rick once we catch him in the act. 
with his intense hate of Rick, doomed financial situation, and then clever. Dis oh, oh, okay. Clever disguises Owen Spader. Okay, so that would make sense then. How he's using the um, prop room typewriter. He's maybe using the secret way in, or using the Owen Spader uh, ID card to get into the building. With his intense and hate of Rick, doomed financial situation, and like that him clever him disguise as Owen Spader. Wayne had every motive and opportunity to commit these threats and traps. Yes, perfect. Oh no. That is correct, Ms. Drew. <gasps> and now for the bonus round. Oh god. Name the washed up director and interfering actress who will be dead in a matter of minutes. Hurry up, contestants. Oh. Time's running out. It's him! Up in the control room! And he's locked us in! Lillian, hide! Oh Why, my gosh. hello, Ms. Oh. Drew. I only followed Lillian here, but I've you trapped both of you. Son of a your death will make a wonderful end to Act One. Rick Arlen's death will be the climax to this little soap opera I've produced. Oh. I'm calling it One Death to Die. You sick twisted. Dwayne, this isn't a soap opera. You're yeah. dealing with real people. Enough. Real life is a soap opera. You'll learn that, or rather, you would have learned that had you lived. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Dwayne, yes. there's still time to let us go. Please, don't do this. Enough! Words, words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come down for the final close-up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever. Oh, so geez. sorry about he your short-lived career, Miss Drew. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh God. Where's Lillian? Faces, everyone! Ah! <laughs> Hurry, Nancy! Ah! Okay, okay. Hurry, Nancy! It's locked. Ah, oh, fire alarm. Ah. Open up in there! Oh, it's a Okay, okay. Open the override lock! Oh, God. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, oh, this is one of these puzzles. Oh, Lanta. Oh, Lanta. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Oh. Oh. Are you Come ready on, for man. your final close ups? Not happening, Mr. Idiot Man. What is going on with this thing? Time's strategy. up. It's oh. time for you, Miss Drew. What's going oh, on? Oh, hey, you. Oh, this is the yes, guy we've been looking stay for. Stay away, you crazy ass! Oh! Congratulations, Nancy. You've solved the case. Oh, way to go, Ralph. Forget about it. Dwayne's in the right now. Case closed. Ha. Dear Bess, Bye. another oh mystery solved. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has wow. publicly apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California oh, and is directing her. her first film. But the best news is about Yay. Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. Oh. Well, as Serena and Rory. But oh. who knows? Perhaps it'll oh. rub off on them. The There's show. always hope. Love, Nancy. Aww, yay! Wow, you guys. Wow, 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 wow. I am shook right now. I really didn't think that was going to be the end of it all. That is pretty wild. That is pretty dang wild. Wow, we were getting so close to, I mean, with all that evidence and everything else we were finding in Dwayne's office, I just had a feeling we were getting down to the nitty gritty. I mean, he just seemed way too sus after that. I mean, Lillian was still up there, especially when she called and said to meet her late at night at the studio. Very sus. So it really was up until that moment where she said she got a threatening letter too that I kind of thought, okay, it's got to be doing it. But really, wow, the whole breakdown, that was quick. That was fast. <laughs> that all happened so quickly. I really was not prepared. As if we move fast, don't we? We move pretty fast these days when it comes to, to our mysteries, eh, Clue Crew? Wow. Well, I want to thank all y'all for your help. You guys are amazing. You guys killed it with me and uh, all the help you guys have given me. I love you all, I appreciate you all. Red Wolf, props to you. 
always. You are like my second in command. And uh, we really killed it. We really nailed it this time around. That was like the maybe one of the fast, I think the fastest mystery we've been through, or the fastest we've gotten through a Nancy Drew mystery. This is only episode four. <laughs> Jeepers. Well, it was a lot of fun though. It was fun while it lasted. And, um, you know, I gotta say, it was actually really one of those mysteries where you're actually, I just find very comfortable. The music, the, the, the themes and everything else, the characters, it just was one of those games you kind of don't want to stop playing just because the ambiance and the music and, and the settings and that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really... Oh, give yourselves a pat on the back. We did it. Yay! Uh, unexpected, but yeah, we did that pretty dang quickly. And uh, it's good to know Dwayne Powers is behind bars for a very long time or if not the rest of his dang life. <laughs> I sure hope so. Um, wow. What else am I wanting to reflect on here? I feel like my mind's going a mile a minute. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was all, it, it all kind of did start to catapult, but I thought maybe there was going to be like another chunk of time where we would, you know, investigate further, maybe get the tape, understand the tape. And I don't know if that hint, if we were ever supposed to, finish the tape or to debunk and organize straighten out the audio layers of the tape I'm not sure if that was ever meant to be or yeah but I did have a note about the one two three four I'm assuming where the channels and then buttons down below so I don't know I don't know but I guess it doesn't matter because <laughs> we did it we did it we did it uh -huh. we did it did it did it uh -huh. And what, what's next? I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Where we're going to go next with this. I kind of want to still stay in the classic era of Nancy Drew's first, like, 10 to 15 games. But, oh, no, we might take a leap into the into the future of Nancy Drew, uh, Nancy Drew Mysteries. <laughs> my thinking cap on. I'm going to go through the list and uh, see which one might be uh, a, a bit of a mix-up for us. Something new or old. <laughs> Don't take my words too lately. Take me with a grain of salt and just sit back and let the anticipation fill you with, with uh, excitement and wonder and curiosity and mystery. <laughs> Well, folks, I guess I'll end the episode now. I'm, I'm still shook. I'm still shaking, like, real shook over this that we're done. That we're looking at yet another credit screen. Um, yeah, wow. I wonder if maybe if I click this, if it will show a preview for the next game. Or if that's something that came a little later on in the series. I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, let's do that first, actually. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> Back to the menu. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, so here we are. End of the mystery. Thank you guys for tuning in and working alongside me, Clue Crew, in getting to the bottom of this mystery. Nancy Drew, stay tuned for danger, uh, which I think is the seventh or eighth mystery we've completed so far. So, you guys are awesome. I love you guys. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys and have a lot of gratitude part of this and coming together with me and having some fun and uh, taking a little time out of your day to spend with Travi J. And uh, yeah, hang tight. We'll be back soon with more Nancy Drew. I'm already going through the ideas in my head, what mystery we can uh, do next. So hang tight and uh, you'll see some advertisements and we'll jump right into it. No waiting this time. Trust me. <laughs> I'm too eager. All right. Well, Thanks again. Love you all. And toodles for now. Ta-ta. Ciao. Till next time. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. 
Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know that it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.